again. My name is Gabe Zona. This is the morning of the 16th of February 2019. I'm going to put up a video with three different links. One link shows you Nancy Pelosi, where she's saying that well, a future president could declare a national emergency to take away the guns. Folks, they're setting the stage to do exactly that. Because they know they can't do what they want to do to us as long as we have access to our weapons. Do you know how many national security declarations were signed? Hmm? Well, you're going to when you take a look at the links that I attached. There's a total of 57 national security events that were signed. 57. Now, what you want to do is you want to sort of gaze through them because some are most interesting. CBS News, how many national emergencies have been called by presidents? Now, this was written on the 15th of February by Grace Segers, that's S-E-G-E-R-S. -E There's a video of Trump declaring this national emergency. It's 20 minutes and 34 seconds in duration, put up by CBS News. Mm -hmm. Now, what I went ahead and did, a search. Jimmy Carter signed two. Ronald Reagan signed six. Herbert Walker Bush signed five. Billy Bob Clinton signed 17. George W. Bush signed 13. Barack Hussein Obama signed 12. Trump signed three. Now, you want to take a look at what they signed and why they signed what they signed. Got a question. Saudi Arabia is fighting Yemen, if I'm not mistaken. And the United States is participating in that particular conflict. I think most people are aware of that. Now, if you take a look at all of these various acts that were signed by presidents, it seems that President Obama was very big on confiscating property. On May the 16th, 2012, this national emergency is still in effect. Many of them are still in effect. Blocking property of persons, threatening the peace, security, or stability of Yemen. It was continued in May 2012. All right, so now you've got a national emergency declaration signed by Barack Hussein Obama blocking property of persons threatening the peace, security, or stability of Yemen. Well, wouldn't that mean that they've got to block the property of Saudi Arabia and the United States? Hmm? You really want to sit back and take a look at what some of these all mean. George W. naturally signed one on 9-11. And that put us into an 18-year war to fuel the industrial military complex. Most of these declarations are to secure property of others. They never have enough. You might want to ask President Trump why Obama's declaration isn't being enforced. Now, out of all the presidents, Jimmy Carter only signed two. Trump signed three. Again, Reagan, six. Herbert Walker Bush, five. Clinton, 17. 
George W. 13, Barack Hussein Obama 12. What they're doing again is they're setting the stage. There's no doubt in my mind that's exactly what this is all about. Every one of these shooting events, starting off with Fast and Furious, Sandy Hook, the Boston Marathon, the Colorado theater shooting, the Tucson shooting, the South Carolina shooting, the San Bernardino shooting, the Florida nightclub shooting, the California nightclub shooting, and Parkland. And there was many more that I Florida missed. They were all done for that same purpose. Most of these, if not all of these, were orchestrated, and I'm certain that each one of them had a name because the CAA always assigns names like Operation Paperclip or Operation Northwoods. They always assign a name. You can't deny the truth. Read these national emergency declarations and ask yourself, do you not really honestly believe they're setting the stage to take away our guns? Hmm? You know what's really frightening is you've got someone that's close to 79 years old that's lost her mind that's third in line for the presidency. <laughs> the whole thing's insane. Take a look at the links. Pass it along to your like-minded friends. Repost it in all your social media accounts. There's no doubt in my mind they're setting us up. You think not? Well, you're entitled to your own opinion, as I am to mine. Thanks for listening.